hi all i wanted to make a quick video regarding how the trades went on 26th of may 2023 today the markets took us for a ride and i had to book losses so this is an educational channel uh kindly read the disclaimer below whatever we are sharing is only for education if you can uh you know make some use of the information we are providing here that will be good especially if if what we have done is wrong and you can learn from that that will be great so uh if you've seen my video of yesterday uh, on nifty and bank nifty i'd mentioned that supports were broken i think it was not yesterday's video it was day for yesterday's video and then nifty in the second half yesterday pulled up quite a bit the the idea was to trade the nifty today so again all this goes to show that never come to the market with preconceived notions uh one should learn to go with the flow the mistake we made today is coming to the market with the preconceived notion of how the market is going to go and the market totally proved us wrong the reason we had a view was this that we we watched this macd and uh, yesterday the MSCD had touched the upper line of 80. It's be between 80 and 20. This is stochastic so RSI uh, bars that we keep at 80, 20. We don't use the other uh, uh, bands of the RSI in that. We only keep the upper boundaries and uh, the other ones we don't make it visible. And then in between you have the MACD. The white line over here is RSI. 50 again we don't watch the rsi we only use it for sake of a marker so the center line that you see in white is rsi 50 rsi 80 20 at the top and bottom and in between what you see is macd macd is not at its default settings macd settings are 2 2020 which gives us a more uh, you know pronounced view of the market so anyway the logic was and that uh, yesterday the nifty 50 has ended right on top touching the 80 mark and uh, today again when we notice the market in the beginning we notice that the market is starting up quite high and we started to short every time we shot it we made a loss as you can see over here these bars indicate uh, the amount of times we have shorted initially and then we suddenly stopped over here and then we were a little more careful in shorting later on but the damage was done already by 11 a.m all right because we were constantly looking at this white line and we were even more confident shorting when this white line cut into the orange line and went below but the more we shot it the more market went up now when it came to this we meant we look at this uh camarilla pivots and we know for a fact that once the r4 is crossed successfully then uh, the markets generally don't come down on a general note they do so as you can see by the time at least 11 10 we stopped our shorting over here and then we waited quite a bit because by this time we knew that we have made an error and uh, the market don't seem to be in a mood to come down further so by this time the damage was done and later on whatever we did we did was to damage control however this is a clear cut uh, illustration of what one should not do that is come to the market with a preconceived notion follow a certain indicator like macd and take trades based on the indicator because what we are witnessing over here is a divergence in view so the MACD is going down but the market is going up this sometimes happened with RSI also it's called an RSI divergence what we are witnessing over here is an MACD di divergence MACD is coming down but the market is going up and the way the market was going up today was I mean uh, you know uh, I hate to say it uh, but uh, this term like you know operator driven market sometimes i also believe it's true because from the word go reliance uh was 
kept in check and never allowed to fall throughout the day it's only later on that the it stocks also took over but it was reliance that held the market strong and tight in the first two two and a half hours and it's because of reliance that nifty did not fall initially the bank nifty was weak but once the nifty 50 crossed the the uh, the r4 mark on the camarilla periods which is over here then uh, nifty bank also started showing signs of recovery and then it started rallying from about uh, nifty bank started moving up slowly from about 11 15 11 20 and that's exactly the time that the r4 was breached on the nifty 50. so it is nifty 50 which set the momentum and then later on uh fin nifty and bank nifty joined in so again we we booked our losses today and uh just wanted to make this video to make sure that people don't make the same mistakes that we make uh, and do not follow indicators blindly because sometimes indicators can prove wrong we had another indicator over here in the yellow line ma30 which was clearly showing that the 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 graph is not coming to even touch base with the ma30 this is a simple moving average of 30 the yellow line that you see over here this uh, this uh, ma30 more or less acts like a vwap also if you see the vwap and ma30 you'll notice that they are very similar in uh, in the way ma30 moves uh, we are on the five minute chart over here so uh, it was very evident over here over here it came to a point where it came to touch but then again the bulls were so strong that uh, they just didn't let the market fall even after 150 where this line uh where the Indi when the candles had come to almost touch the ma30 line the but the bulls did not let it go below the ma30 line and pulled it even further the way the markets have ended today show a few things of significance the first one is if you look at the nifty chart when we had made the review day for yesterday we had closed we had discussed that a head and shoulder is broken this this uh, will be the strong support if this breaks then the market will come in see this is the support market exactly did that it started rising from here and yesterday when it closed it closed exactly over here where this trend line was again this was also because of this line that we thought that it's come and halted exactly at this trend line and it will take a downfall from here so that was another point we took into consideration but when it opened up over here and went breaching this uh, resistance we should have taken note of that and we should have not shot it but we did and we went horribly wrong so Please learn from our mistakes and do not follow, follow indicators blindly. In our case today, we followed the RSI 80 and MACD blindly and we had to pay a price for that. So, thank you very much for watching. I hope you liked the video. Please like and share this video with your family and friends. And I'll see you in another video. Take care. Bye-bye.